We also got by this, didn't we? There was no rapture a week ago Saturday. Poor Harold. He goofed. But he has he has moved up the date. It's now October 21st. Okay. We had this meeting a little over a week ago. This didn't go well. Let's keep Israel in our prayers, okay? Man, this what happened there? What happened here? This guy told this guy that he has to have a smaller country because we have to make room for Palestine. Palestinian state. And that guy told that guy he's not going to do it. That's right. <laughs> And he got a standing ovation in the Congress. Yes, yes. he did. You see that? Yes, he did. Wow, wasn't that great? And if, any, and, and if anybody heard uh, uh, Rush this week, they're all scrambling to try to find a birth certificate so we can get this guy in to be our next president. So. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, a lot of you know that I work for, uh, or some of you know that I work for AT&T. And I wanted to show you, this is a picture of our AT&T store in Joppa. <laughs> before, and this is the picture of it afterwards. We, we, uh, unfortunately, we did lose uh, somebody in that, so let's keep Joplin. Uh, and uh, big X on it, too. Go back one again, go back one slide. Another slide. And perhaps related to this, Yes. yes. I, I, are the I, next two slides, right, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. It, that eye for an eye thing. Remember, I mean, it just seems that whenever there's horrible windstorms or tornadoes or, or hurricanes, hurricanes, it always seems to be where the United States is pressuring Israel to give up its land. It's just amazing how frequently that occurs. Also, the UN is going to have an election and oh, just yeah. vote in the, the state of Palestine regardless of... So, yes. That same agreement allows anybody with Palestinian blood to immigrate into Israel after anybody. See, world's gone amok. Bob? Ron, what, what, how are they going to enforce that UN they resolution? They can't. They can't force it. They can just vote it. Short of uh, getting the, needing somebody to invade that ballot, we invade Israel. <coughs> From what I've read, they can't enforce it. They can just say, this is what we okay, recommend. Okay. All right, and then, and this is just look at, I mean the whole place was, was destroyed. And this is just somebody searching for anything that's that's left that they can collect. Uh, all in a, all in a week. Okay. Murray Hall. Yes. He's uh, Murray Hall's. Uh, he's fine. His house is fine, but his daughter Tammy lost her house, and another daughter lost her. But they're. they're I mean. They're fine, but they lost their house. Murray and Diane didn't lose their yes. house. <coughs> Tammy did then. Yes, Tammy. Tammy did. I'm sure almost every one of us here have uh, have somebody that we know. I, my wife and I have two, a couple of very close friends, and they were just outside of the uh, uh, tornado swath, and, and uh, she saw it for the first time about three days ago, and. She said, the pictures just don't do it justice. It's just unbelievable. Yes. But let's pray. It's sad enough that they lost the house. But I heard a thing on the radio the other day that just killed me Thursday of a man saying that they had just found his three-year-old son face down and his 18-month-old had they had found the day before. Right. And he said, I've lost both my boys. Yeah. Let's pray for those that lost it. I mean, it's just it's un unbelievable destruction. and. Something was brought to my attention this morning. I actually melted. Do we hear of tornadoes in any other parts of the world? Not anywhere. Isn't it unique? Okay. Well, they're called something else. Also, uh, typhoons. This is on a little on the lighter side, but on the 2012, like this is what it's going to be all about. And I know it's near and dear to most everyone in here, Medicare, and that's what the big issue is going to be. Uh, oh on the election. So, I mean, there's just a whole bunch that happened this week. And, of course, we, we can't end uh, this without knowing these great three great facts. The last Oprah show happened this week. The Mirror Ball was awarded. 
Does anybody watch Dancing with the Stars? Does what anybody is that? care? Oh, yes. what is that? Oh, Dancing yeah. with Stars. <laughs> Esther, where you been? Where you been? I'm too busy to watch that stupid thing. All right, well, the next is think it's even more important. Scotty got elected to American Idol. Okay, I know this is all important, but on a serious note, guys, we do have a lot to be praying for this week. Israel, incredible. The people of Joplin. And all those people that got caught up in the frenzy of Harold Camping, I, I, I mean, millions of dollars were spent putting up billboards and signs. And what do we know about that? They no one knows the hour of the day. They keep listening to people. They have to get into the Bible. Yeah. No man knoweth. That's right. Go ahead. Oklahoma City is about more than they got on Yes, there was there was a whole bunch of tornadoes, Joe, all across. Yeah, the Mid East. Yes, we did have one in California. If anybody saw it on the news, too. So. You know, we can joke about all this. Yes. But we love uh, American Idol. Yes. And, and we were rooting for Scotty. He's a strong, strong Christian young man. Yeah. And he and came then, out. Did you hear what he said? He said, I have, to, I have to thank the Lord he got me. Yeah. Yeah. Strong Christian. You know, as that that shows that we can show our testimony no matter where we are. Exactly. And, and he did it in front of exactly. so millions of people. Millions of people. Yeah. 122 million people voted for that, for those two. That's a lot of people watching that show. <coughs> of course, we vote multiple times. Go ahead, Ed. Just, just for uh, comparison. I saw a small tornado here in California about 45 years ago. It was 30 feet tall, maybe, and it twisted a steel I beam into a pretzel. So you can imagine what those big ones can do. Well, the uniqueness of that particular tornado, normally they go about 40 miles an hour. This one went about 20, and it was just like going through a blender, and it just pulverized everything in a very slow, moving fashion, and there's just virtually nothing left. In every place that has no tornadoes, it's flooding. Yeah. <laughs> Sign of the times. But yes. you know, right now, there is a huge earthquake being predicted for that Mississippi Valley there. Oh yeah, the FEMA has already set up a fund for that. Okay. And hundreds of millions of dollars. I don't want to get away from the uh, prayers, so whoever's leading it. I'm up here. Yes, sir. Right. If the earth opens up, it might drain all the What's water. What's that? The, government borrowed, the U.S. government borrowed $30 billion. They borrowed what? $30 billion. How do we do it, man? How do we do it? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. From the Lord. Yeah. 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 From who? Federal Reserve? Yeah. 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 You wanted to read it. You're welcome to use that if you want. Just, uh... <laughs> okay, um, we have to be grateful to God for, for a new day that he gave us to us and a new day to life, to live. So that's priority for my thinking, to be grateful to God because so many people are very ill and they need a lot of prayer for healing. And Ben's one of the person is uh, asking for prayer for his business issue causing some anxiety. The economy in this country is taking a chaos in the, in the homes of America. And that's an influence all over the world. So I'm very aware of what's going on in the world. I watch international media. And, and we have to pray for the United States economy to improve. Um, the uh, our loving brother um, Charlie, he is trying to recover from pneumonia, so we can pray for him for healing. The God is a merciful God, and when we ask with a humble spirit, He can heal us, and He can heal the land. So, in humility, we ask the mighty God, who knows all things, to put in our heart. Um, kindness to one another and to share what we have for one another when they are in need. We, and this thing have a price. And I realize um, that when we are kind to one another, he responds 
and another way to us.